Now, your local weather with meteorologist Brian Briggs. Well, good Sunday afternoon to you. Hopefully you've enjoyed the day so far. It's been another hot and humid one with some of those isolated to scattered showers and thunderstorms this afternoon. But you can see by our tower cam here, this is actually looking off towards the north. And uh, things are kind of clearing out, at least for the majority of the Arklamas here. But off towards the north and towards the west, a little bit different story. We'll get more on that in just a second. Currently sitting at 93 degrees, that dew point very, very high. It's sitting at 76, so it's very, very humid. And um, again, and we haven't seen widespread relief from from the uh, heat and humidity yet. However, that will be changing here in just a second. Our temperatures currently across the area and are anywhere from the uh, upper 80s to lower 90s across the area. We're seeing some 70s out towards the west too. That's where that uh, more widespread shower and storm activity is currently going on. That is making its way towards us. We factor in the moisture though, especially locations in the uh, southern sections of the Arco Mist, feeling closer to 110 in some spots. So very, very hot and humid once again. But as you can see by the brighter colors up towards the north, there is cooler air on the way. So uh, we do have a severe thunderstorm watch in effect for some of our counties in southern Arkansas. That goes for Drew, Bradley, uh, Calhoun, and Washita counties. And that goes till 8 p.m. tonight. Those are the only ones so far in the severe thunderstorm watch. And we also have a flash flood watch that goes through 7 a.m. tomorrow morning for all of southern Arkansas, including Union, Morehouse, East, and West Kill parishes for the threat for heavy rain. So as I mentioned, those storms are knocking on our doorstep. Here's our live storm tracker Doppler radar brought to you by E.R. Young. This line is kind of fizzling apart. So uh, it's been having some severe thunderstorm warnings with it throughout the day, but right now currently not seeing anything severe. However, we're starting to get some uh, severe storms developing off towards our west. This will push eastward into our area. We'll kind of have a few rounds of showers and thunderstorms as we have a rather strong cold front, especially for this time of year. We'll get all of these showers and thunderstorms across the Mid-South. So there's one of our disturbances here. Here's another one. And they're all going to kind of get together and form right over the Arklamas. And that's what's going to bring all of our severe weather threat chances and um, heavy rainfall potential through the course of the night. So let's let's time this out on Future Tracker here. Again, this is going through about 8 o'clock tonight. We'll start to see more of those showers and thunderstorms working into southern Arkansas until about 11 or so. You can see strong thunderstorms possible, in, uh, especially in the El Dorado area. So that's when those uh, showers and thunderstorms will really start to get going. They'll get to about I-20 here at about 1 o'clock in the morning on Monday and will continue to push south and eastward very ever so slowly winding or winding down in intensity. But with that being said, they're going to be going through the course of the night. So not only are we having that risk for severe weather, but it'll also be very, very loud with a lot of lightning and thunder. Very, very heavy rainfall as well. So remember, turn around, don't drown. We'll get a brief break during the afternoon. I would expect to see more showers and thunderstorms developing during Monday afternoon during the daylight hours. And then that activity will continue and into Tuesday morning, another disturbance moving in. So it's just going to be disturbance after disturbance here as uh, we have an unsettled weather pattern moving through the Arklamas. And with that, there will be the opportunity to see some severe weather. So this is for tonight. Most of us are under a slight risk, which is a 2 out of 5 in the yellow. Mainly our river parishes are in the marginal 1 out of 5. But we do have an enhance that's brushing Washita and Columbia counties. So just keep that in mind. Gusty winds are going to be the best potential here as we go through the night. But cannot rule out an isolated tornado or two to, for everyone. So just keep that in mind. Make sure you're staying weather aware through the course of tonight. Only dropping down to about 72. We're going to keep those severe storms around through the course of the night to tomorrow morning, only topping out of the upper 80s, more showers and storms early, but then we'll see more showers and storms developing mainly after about 4 o'clock or so for our Monday. So Monday is going to be a fairly, fairly wet day here, and um, the wet weather sticking around for the vast majority of the seven-day forecast, and um, just kind of a 20 to 40 percent chance given the day and the disturbance, but temperatures will generally be in the lower 90s, lows will be in the lower 70s, and uh, kind of wet and a little bit cooler than normal for this time of year. So I guess mm -hmm. we, we like the cooler temperatures, exactly. but we don't need all the rain and severe weather with it. But we'll take it for the cooler temperatures because it's very right. hot outside right, right now. Right, right. Unless right, we get a little break. <laughs>